Back with you on E! News. By the way, where is my iced soy mocha latte half-calf, no sugar, extra splendor that I asked for someone Gosh. to just grab? You it know what? Maybe you need kick. another assistant. Well, I just want a little kick. It's not too hard. It's, just, it's not even solid. It's a liquid. If yes. I could just pop that over here, I could get a little jolt. Thank you. Get through the Brings us to our next story. I got it early morning. Thank you, obviously. From diva demands to death threats, demand, the secrets of Hollywood request. helpers. Samantha has the story. Want to go from assistant to A-lister like these famous faces? Believe it or not, Natalie Portman, Faith Hill, and gorgeous George all began as right-hand help before shooting to stardom. There's no better place to start than at the bottom. And of course, once they reach celeb status, no self-respecting star leaves home without one. Being the busy career woman that you are, do you have a personal assistant? Yes, I do. She's an assistant to a power player. He went from PA to TV writer. Now, Hillary Stam and Peter Nowak have written the Hollywood Assistant's Handbook, and we're revealing the top five do's and don'ts of celeb servitude. Tip number one, be a fan of LA Confidential. There's a lot of privileged information that you're privy to if you work for a really high up boss. So, um, you know, it's, it's a good life lesson to learn, you know, you don't want to go tell the company secrets. Or personal secrets, which brings us to tip number two, please don't touch the celebrities, which basically means respect their boundaries. Oh my God, I am, um, yeah, yeah, no, I had a personal assistant situation. If your boss is meeting with Mr. Clooney, don't ask him about life after Sarah Larson or even ER. It's all off limits, so don't cross the line. And I have Which a one? nightmare assistant story who basically uh, was let go and decided to threaten my life. Your life? Yeah. That's, that's not joking around. Oh, no, it became a very serious situation because the Smiths don't play that. Tip number three, you've got to be a chore whore. My personal assistant walked to my dog, bought tampons, and uh, went to the grocery store. Okay, so you didn't go to college to pick up someone's feminine hygiene products or after their dog, but hey, it gets noticed. He uh, basically every day did something really nice for me. I mean, if he wasn't gay, he could have been like husband material. Tip number four, suck up to the Satan spawn. The author's words, not ours. Basically, be kid friendly. Keep candy and toys handy, and maybe Junior will give you the thumbs up. Finally, tip number five, pimp your personality. Let the inner you shine. It's the true you that's going to come out and make you rise to the top. And if you and your boss bond, there's a big benefit. You may become a swag hag. The free stuff, your boss is left over. Sometimes they'll give you your, their premiere tickets, and sometimes you'll take their place at parties, so that's fun. Definitely also um, good food. And really the bigger <laughs> picture is that you get your foot in the door, so that's the biggest perk.